everyone. Welcome to Ponderings of the Priest. I would like to ponder with you today some practical applications of um, do I love the Lord my God with all my heart and mind and soul and strength? Uh, what is my relationship with God? And if this is something I'm not quite sure of or would like to have a better um, grasp on, some just some practical practices of how we can um, continue in our journey to learn how to do this. I don't think it's ever a completed process. I my own personal experience is, is that I learn pretty much every day new ways of the ways I'm not loving God with all my heart and mind and soul and strength, and new ways that teach me um, how to come to that place. So how do I learn to, you know, actually practically apply what I say I believe in my life? Pietistic platitudes do none of us any good. And uh, just believing in something doesn't mean that we put that into action in our lives. So how do we do that? Uh, how do we raise our conscious awareness of God in our life every day? Well, the first is, and this is a drum I beat all the time, the first is prayer. Um, we need to make the time to stay connected with God. And as we talked about in church last Sunday, prayer takes many different forms. There's no one right or wrong way to pray. There are different ways we pray that are perhaps sometimes more frustrating than others. That's a whole nother uh, pondering for another day. But prayer, to make the time. And, and I have people tell me all the time, I don't have time. People make time for what's important for them. And so if we can't make the time, we need to ask ourselves the question, is this really that important to me? So make the time to set aside 10 to 20 minutes a day in prayer and connect with God in whatever way that works for you. Um, secondly, if we are to love the Lord our God with all our heart and mind and soul and strength, we need to understand who this God is that we're committing our lives to, that we're deciding to love unconditionally. And one of the ways we do that, in addition to prayer, is through reading the Bible, especially reading the Gospels, because Jesus tells us, Jesus tells us, exactly what we need to do in practical application for loving God. We need to be obedient. The Ten Commandments, the teachings of Jesus. If you want to know some specifics, uh, just start with Matthew chapters 5 through 8. And they're hard, hard teachings and hard, hard sayings. And they're very difficult to put into practice every day. But do it anyway. It's really just that simple. Uh, we vastly overcomplicate everything. And then to say, do I trust? Do I trust that if I do these things, I'm going to learn more about loving God. I'm going to grow in my relationship with God. And, and then the, the added side effect to that is everything else we've been pondering the last couple of weeks. And then lastly, to open our eyes and to look around us in the world and to see Christ in each other and to recognize the big and little things we have to be grateful for. The so-called coincidences that I like to call God incidences that are no coincidence and to have a sense of gratitude because gratitude gets me out of me and puts me into God and, and I offer thanksgiving. So thanksgiving. These are just a couple of simple practical applications if we want to grow in what it means to love God and how to do it. So I will leave that for you to ponder for the week and have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.